Okay, I'm finished with my foot now, and I'm down to the toe, and I'm ready for the decrease. Are you done? Because we're going to do that next. But before we start that, I want to remind you that your high high needles are available at my website, springersyarnook.com. And when you get the order of your needles, you'll receive a free copy of the pattern for this 9-inch size 2 or size 3 needle, whichever one you like the best, from my shop to your house. Socks, the way you love them, the easy way. Okay, let's start that toe decrease. Okay, I'm down to the toe. I'm ready for the decrease. I put a marker in as I did the last round so that I could tell where my 28 stitches were. My yarn is here, so what I'm going to do is, with my second needle, and you can use a 12 inch or something larger if you like, I'm simply going to slide them on to this needle in preparation for the toe decrease. 28 stitches, be sure you count them, it's real important. Here we go, last two and the mark is gonna come off. There we go. There we go. So now we have, whoops, catch that one. Pick him up in a minute. Okay, there you go. You have two needles in your toe, and we're gonna do the decrease now. So you're gonna turn your sock so that your yarn is on the back side. And this is a lot like the decrease for the gusset. You're gonna load the front needle. If you run your hand all the way around the end, find the right needle and come around to it. If you've ever used two socks on a circular, this is pretty much how we do it. Bring it forward. And we're going to do the decrease, which is knit one, SSK, knit to the last three stitches on this needle, knit two together, and knit one. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the back needle. So here we go, put it back up there. So we're gonna knit one. Once you get it knitted and you do the slip, slip, K, which is knitting two together. Sorry, there we go, right there. Then tighten that needle up and it'll draw in your ladder there. So it's close and tight. Then we're gonna knit to the last three stitches on this needle, which is needle one. Okay, and here we come down to the last three stitches on the front needle. So just like the gusset decrease, we're going to knit two together. Whoops, lost it, here we go. There we go. And then knit one. And then you pull this needle through so that it's hanging. You turn your sock so the thread is to the back. And you load the front needle once again. This is our second needle on the first round. Run your hand around the back of it to find the right needle, point to point. We're gonna pick up the yarn. This is gonna be the same way. We're going to knit the first stitch. There we go. Then we're gonna S, S, K. Excuse my fingers, here we go. Knit them together and then tighten them up so there's no hole in between. 
And now we're going to knit to the last three stitches on this needle. And this is how we're going to do the decrease with a resting row in between, just like we did on the gusset. A little tight there. We don't have markers this time, we've just got two needles. So you need to get your pencil and paper out again and mark it down because we're going to decrease them down till there's a total of 12 stitches on, the, on both needles for 24. Let me just check that. Yeah, that's right. Okay, here we come down. Sometimes they get in the way, but just move them around. It's awkward the first couple times, but you get used to it after a while. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. Last three stitches. Knit two together. And knit one. And pull this needle through so it's on its wires. And turn your sock. So this round was round one, decreasing on both ends of each needle. And now we will do round two, which will be knitting around both needles to get round two. So you find the right end of your needle. If you don't take the time to find the right end of your needle, you will knit off your needle, it will drop to the floor, and you will be horrified. But it's okay. Pick it up, slide it back in, start again. It's not a big deal, but it is kind of scary when you drop that needle to the floor the first time. So write down on your pieces of paper, round one, round two, round one, round two, and mark it off just like you did. Whoops, split that one. When we did the gusset, till you have 12 stitches on your front needle and 12 stitches on your back needle for a total of 24. And then we're gonna do the decrease of closing the toe. And instead of doing the traditional one, we're gonna do a new twist. And we're gonna do it in just a minute. Okay, now we've finished decreasing our toe. The nice decrease rounds off the side of your foot by doing the decrease that we had. And now we're going to close the toe off and finish our sock.